everyone and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon VGC 2019 battle series. We are in the Moon series for only two more days. So, saying that guys, we are back. It's Thursday. Hope you're all well having a great week. We did finish up with the Mewtwo team yesterday after a resounding result in the poll that we put up last Friday. So thank you again to everyone who voted on that. If you'd like to go back and check out the last few days with Mewtwo, you can go back up here. I'll put a card in for you people to check out all the good games that we had. But getting on to today's matches, games, teams and everything like that. Kindly Cameron, who is one of our channel patrons, Provided me with the team that you've got on your screen right in front of you now, which is going to be a lot of fun to play. It is a team that he's created himself. So big shout out to Cameron. Thank you so much for giving us a team to feature today in this fun last week in the Moon series before we move into the Ultra next week. So just to recap the team for you guys, we've got the Curran Black, the Hot or Tapu Fini, Incineroar, Stack Attacker, and the Ludicolo. Quite a solid team. We've got the Icinium on the Curran Black, though, which is going to be a lot of fun because we've played Curran White. We had a real good run with Curran White, actually, and came up with that really nice team that we finished up with there. So to play Curran Black, I know James Bex had a lot of success with it on his channel in the Moon series, so it's going to be nice to feature it. At least we featured both Curums in the Moon series as well. It's going to be a lot of fun. As always, though, the team is in the description down below, as well as the paste, so go Go ahead, try it out, and uh, give all big props to Cameron for his kind suggestion and uh, giving us a team to play. But without further ado, guys, let's get into today's episode. As always, if you enjoy this content, please remember to leave a like down below, subscribe to the channel, don't know what's with the accent, um, but yes, and leave your comments because I love hearing your comments, hearing from you guys in general. And remember, next Monday, because there's no battle spot, because the rules are getting updated for Tuesday when the Ultra Series kicks into gear, we won't have an episode of our Daily Battle Series. We will have instead some new content on the channel, which is going to be all about Sword and Shield. So I'm really excited about it. If you've got any questions that you'd like me to answer in the first episode though of this new content that we do in the coverage of Sword and Shield, then leave them in the comment section below and I'll make sure to try and answer as many of them as possible for Monday's episode. But we've got our first opponent, so let's, without further ado, jump straight into it. Right, we're going up against Nihiligo. Oh, oh, we've got the mirror already. Um, Tapu Fini, Ludicolo, Incineroar, and Kyogre. So, going to be a really interesting match for us to go into. We've got the restricted combination of ho oh and Kyogre. We've got the Ludicolo there supporting that Kyogre with its swift swim ability that it loves in the rain. You've got Intimidate support, Fake Out support from the Incineroar. Nihiligo is going to be a bit awkward to deal with. It does do really good damage to pretty much everything we've got on our team. So... Dealing with it is going to be very difficult and uh, we're going to have to make short work of it. It is weaker on the defensive side of things so if we can get a Trick Room up potentially then it will help us out. We've also got Ludicolo so if the rain is up then my opponent is going to find it difficult to um, take number numerous amounts of those water type attacks. But I feel like this is a pretty difficult matchup for us to kick off with today. Curum Black is going to be really good for us. It does hit the hot or very good, the Finny and the Kai. Oh God, we've got to watch out for the Intimidate support from the Incineroar. So we've got to have something in the back to switch it on. Uh, okay, let's go Incineroar, let's go Ludi, and let's go Ho-Oh, because I feel like we need to bring our Restricteds here. Mm, okay, let's click in with this and go for it. So, good luck to my opponent. Hmm. Nihiligo is the one thing that you think, right, well, this makes things super difficult for us. I don't know what that clicking was either. Mad clicking, but yeah, ignore me. <laughs> I'm sorry. Something just clicked behind me though, and I'm like, what the heck was that? I'm in this room alone, so I'm haunted. Okay, so we're going to see ho -Oh and Incineroar come out. We're going to have to deal with that Intimidate support, but Kieran Black still not in the worst position ever. We've got to watch out for, obviously, Sacred Fire that could come out from that ho -Oh potentially burn us. Um, I do see the Intimidate cycle from the opposing Incineroar, which indicates that it's either faster than the one that we're running or it's a speed time. We're just bouncing around Intimidate. So, what are we going to do? I think we trade Fake Outs for sure. Fake Out into the ho -Oh and bring in our own ho -Oh and then we're not Intimidated at all, are we? Um, I, am, I do worry about the potential Kyogre switching in here. That's the only thing. I'm kind of tempted just to U-turn out on the Incineroar. So I've got the Intimidate to bring in again. I can try and maneuver Ludian 
if the Kyogre does hit the field for my opponent, because they might not go for the fake out, they might just U turn pivot into Kyogre. Um, although, with Curan Black sitting on the field, it might not feel like the best thing to be doing right now, but I will reposition anyway. So I've got to try and cover the hole if the Kyogre does come in, and I feel like this is probably the best way for us to do this. So we do see the fake out, there's a Tailwind from the opposing hole. And uh, we can get Ludicolo in, it's fine. We'll get some damage onto this Incineroar anyway. Because we can switch straight back out from Ludi and get another Intimidate onto the opposing hole and start doing some damage. And at least by doing this, we kind of detract the, the Kyogre hitting the field so soon. Um, okay, I'm just going to Brave Bird the Incineroar and I'm going to switch back into our Incineroar from our Ludicolo because it's an obvious target for a Brave Bird from the opposing Ho-Oh. Saying all these Pokemon way too many times, just confusing myself, going round and round in circles. Switch into our Incineroar, we're going to target the Incineroar, switch out our Ho-Oh and hopefully the other Ho-Oh doesn't Brave Bird our Incineroar, so, which is going to, there we go, okay, so we'll bring in Incineroar, I'm going to stop the shenanigans. This is the last week of the Moon series, so, <laughs> I'm sorry, I apologise, it'll be so much more serious into the Ultra series, looking forward to it. The guides are going to be starting on Monday as well guys, just for your information, uh, we do see a Brave Bird, there's a U-turn, come on, bring that Kyogre in take a brave bird okay it's an all going out what's coming in it's gonna be Nihiligo <laughs> maybe like if you haven't brought Nihiligo to this match I do question because it's so good against the team that we're running it's not a bad switching now I mean you probably don't want Nihiligo to take a massive chunk of damage but at the same time it is gonna resist a brave bird and it does make the appearance. One Pokemon that we did not want to see. But we will get a Brave Bird into it. Unintimidated. So we should still do a decent amount of damage. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's not bad, is it? It's not bad. It isn't bad at all. Um, okay, we've got the Fake Out. I think we go into Curum Black. Black Curum. And uh, we Fake Out Nihiligo. Oh, this is Trixie. Trixie, because Curran Black isn't going to enjoy taking a power gem. Neither is Hot All, really. Neither is Incineroar. This is what I mean. The Nile Ego totally destroys this team. Hot All going to reposition itself. We're going to see the Incineroar come back onto the field now. It's fine. I think. But at some point, we're going to have to switch something in on Nile Ego to take an attack. So we do get Curum Black in, Terra Vault activating. Get a fake out into the Nihiligo. Put it in Brave Bird range now, although we're not going to be able to take any attacks from it. Um, I think Curum Black probably is strong enough to take at least one attack. Um, the problem is that we have is Incineral is right on the money for a power gem although we probably take a power gem from this range do we do we want to risk it that's the, the thing because um, i could u-turn i could u-turn i've got to get around this fake out for sure let's bring in ludi the problem is ludi's one of those pokemon i need for the kyogre that's lurking in the back and if my pawn goes for a sludge bomb here it would not be the best situation ever Power gem. Okay, yeah. He's incinerate. Oh, okay, the salt that's really helping out there. And we turn not so good. Oh man. Oh dude, that is that is brutal. That U turn damage. Okay. Uh oh oh incoming inbound. Right. Um Tailwind does pitter out. Pitter patter. Now, do we just fusion bolt the Nihiligo? I think we've got to chase that down. We've got to get rid of it if we can and just switch in Incineroar. We've got to keep Ludicolo around for if that Kyogre's in the back, which I probably expect it to be. Getting an Intimidate onto the Ho-Oh -Ho -Ho is going to be good. It's just the risk of the Sacred Fire now. Um, like I say, I think 
Kira is probably strong enough to take a power, like a power gem. The double up into it, maybe not. Maybe Intimidate does help. But maybe I'm underestimating Cure and Black as well at the same time. I just fear Nihilego way more than I probably should. But I have a good respect for it, so that's that's the other thing. Power Gem coming out, gonna be in yet. Ugh, that does so much damage. Tailwind, okay, that's fine, that's fine. That is a white. Because we'll get the Nihilego now. Now the next thing we've got to deal with is the uh, the Kyogre. Let's stall out this trick room because Kyogre is going to hit the field now for sure. Hmm. Hmm. Incineroar, eh? Incineroar, you say? This makes it a bit easier for us because. Now I've got an easy enough switch into hot oil. Um, I think what I'm going to do is protect Cure and White, and I am going to bring in ho oil for Incineroar. Then the next turn, we've got the potential switch out with Cure into Incineroar to get a double intimidate onto that hot oil, intimidate onto your poison Incineroar. And we can start chucking our Brave Birds once again with Hot Oil. And it does have Protect in this build as well, so it makes it a little bit easier to kind of get, achieve a good board position, I should say. So, Incineroar going out for us, Hot Oil coming in. Look at these Hot Oils in tandem. Synchronized flying. It's beautiful. Okay, we do Protect. There's the Faker. Perfection. And sacred fire, yeah. Okay, so that's not so bad. It's not so bad. Um, let's get a good old Incineroar back onto the field. And hmm, let's go. And uh, did we go recover here? That's the other thing. Like I could just recover. Um. Kind of like the idea of just doing that because it means hot oil is gonna potentially stick around a bit longer. Although the opposing hot oil is minus two, so I'm not massively worried about that. I'm gonna break I'm just gonna brave bird the incinero slot because with the fake out we can we can recover the next turn. Okay, so get the intimidate cycle back onto the hot oil, onto the incinero. Probably see a U-turn from there's the sacred fire. Yep, just checking that slot. Not gonna do too much to our fire cat. Flare blitz. Hmm. Doubling up. No switches. It kind of screams more and more and more. Like the um, the Kyogre's just not here. Do you get the brave bird? The Kyogre's definitely here. No, who were kidding? Okay, but that Incineroar is definitely in range this next turn of another brave bird. Um, I don't really want to fake it out though, that's the problem. Um, I'm going to just U-turn out onto the hot oil and I'm going to just Brave Bird again into the Incineroar. So if I fake out, I proc a berry, I don't pick up the knockout onto it. Whereas if I... Yeah. If I do this, like the Flare Blitz should be that minimal at this point onto either target that we've got. It shouldn't proc the berry, the recoil. I'm hopping. Hmm. It doesn't feel like it's that close to proc in the berry, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong. And it could all, of course, it could crit. So that's the other big thing here. Oh, the whole oh, could protect. Snarl, huh. Okay. I mean, it's not ideal that we're not actually getting our own Incineroar out. <sighs> Especially when the Kyogre's the definitely sitting lurking in the back. Hmm. Because now, Hot or definitely Tailwinds and Kyogre just attacks. And Ludi's not got but I mean the whole, oh yeah, Kyogre, 
Hmm. The opposing hole was minus two, so I mean, we've got that kind of going for us, I guess. Uh, oh, we've got a sack and Cinero, I think now. We can try a snarl. A snarl will be handy if we can get a snarl off. And let's get to protect. Let's see what this Kyogre is, if it's scoffed or not. So protect, cargo water spout, scarfed I think, I think it's scarfed. Hopefully we don't see a tailwind, a tailwind would be disastrous but it would make sense for my opponent to set up an end game for the Ludi coming in. Mm -hmm. Right, hmm. Ludi, probably, well I think with the assault vest we probably do take probably to take a water spot but we can always fake out and brave bird the Kyogre yeah let's do that because the opposing hole will probably target down our Ludi here but if we can get some damage onto this Kyogre just to weaken that water spout, it gives Kieran Black a little bit more of a chance when it comes onto the field. But with so low health with Kieran Black, after taking that power gem, it's it's really difficult because, like, yeah, it's just the, the margins aren't the best right now. But the rain is helping Kieran Black against the Sacred Fires at least. There's a fake out. Kyogre flinch. Z move. Of course. This will be into Hall. Oh. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, even minus two should take us down, I think. Yeah. Hmm. Only hope now is that Ludicolo is faster than the Ho-Oh in this tailwind. That is our only hope. If we can damage his Kyogre enough with a Grass Knot, then Kyurem can deal with the ho -Oh. Come on, Ludi, do it for the team. Prove me wrong about how I feel about you in this format, please. You dancing pineapple, you know you want to do this. I know you can take the water spout. You've got an assault vest. You're ready for the assault. You can take it. Come on, Ludi. Let's do this. <laughs> Ludi, why? Ah, oh, come on. Well, I mean, there's, there's just no coming back from this now. Pineapple head. It's cost us this game. I mean, to be fair, to be fair, it was a pretty tough matchup. We could have maybe played it a little differently in places. We don't get the double protect and the water spout. Will be enough. I'm telling you though, the Nihiligo we identified from the start, we had nothing to hit it super effectively. And it did enough to allow the Kyogre and the Hot Auto to just clean up at the end there. But good game to my opponent. And uh, we'll quickly fly over to our next game. Hopefully it doesn't take too long to find an opponent. Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, it's a really tough matchup. Nile is one of those, those Pokemon. When you're building teams in the Moon series in particular, it's not something that you kind of springs to mind straight away. You think, dang, I need to have that Nile check. Because otherwise, I mean, you are playing hot or but I mean, at the same time, it's not so popular. So it's one of those Pokemon you can easily forget about. But never mind. We'll move into our next one, which you got straight away. So let's have a look. Ah, oh, this looks tasty. We've got Incineroar, Ludicolo, Kyogre, Whimsicott, Sogaleo, and Malamar. So Malamar for you guys out there that don't know. Because there might be a few of you. It's a psychic dark type. It gets Contrae as well. It gets access to superpowers. So it's, it's a pretty good Pokemon. 
Um, right, what are we going to do though? How good is Curan Black in this game? I mean, outside of the Sogaleo, it's pretty decent. Doesn't do too bad against the... Well, it does really good against the Kyogre, good against the, the Ludi. Malamart's not too concerned about... Um, what's our Finny got? Let's have a quick gander. So, Nature's Madness, Heal Pulse, his Icy Wind. Okay. Hmm, his could be decent, I guess. Definitely the Nature's Madness. We're going to bring Finny in this game. Um, I don't think we see the Kyogre lead. I'm going to bring ho up top. I'm going to bring Ludi. And I'm not going to bring Intimidate. It's pretty useless anyway. It's like it would be good against the Sogaleo, but it didn't really affect that because of the full meta body. We're not going to do anything but proc the Contrea and the Malamar. Um, and the Incineroar, yeah, it would be useful, but I mean... We can deal with Incineroar. We've probably faced more Incineroar than we've faced any other Pokemon on the channel in the combination of the Sun and the Moon series. be interesting to know, to know that. Like, we've probably faced quite a lot of Arcanine, I can imagine, from the 2017 season. But probably not as much as we faced Incineroar, which is every game. Every game. Maybe not this one, though. Maybe my opponent didn't bring it. We're going to see the Sogaleo, the Whimsical, come out for my opponent. So, uh, the Misty Train's a little bit hindering to us because we would like to Sacred Fire the Sogaleo and burn it, but at the same time, we can't have it all, can we? Um, okay. So, they've got to expect Tailwind, I think. Uh, they got to be a little bit wary about a Sacred Fire. I'm just going to, I think, I'm going to Icy Wind. And I'm going to Brave Bird. No, I'm not. I'm going to Sacred Fire the Whimsicott. Could Brave Bird it, but I really don't want to take the recoil. And I think the Sogaleo switches out or protect you. And we probably see a tailwind from the Wimmy. But let's see. We'll soon find out. Sogaleo withdraws. Can you see Kaya? Ooh, my. Oh, no. No! <laughs> okay. And Wimmy. So we're just. We're literally just. We're just giving the. Uh, the, the, the good old Malmar. Oh, we're not. We can get away with it. By the skin of our teeth. Okay, that's fine. Got to worry about Rock Slide on Malmar because it does does learn Rock Slide. Um, I think we nature's badness that, and we have to readjust. We have to readjust. Rock Slide, like one of those things, it's really not ideal for us to be um, facing down against. Ooh, okay, did we bring in Ludi? We get the fake out the next turn, which isn't too bad. Yeah, I just worry worry a lot about rock slide here from Malamar. Encore. Mm. Not ideal. And it does hit this time. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Malamar, Speedy Gonzalez. Bop, bop, bop. Yep. Speed rose by one. It goes for the knockoff. Okay, interlude. You just get rid of that assault rest. It could have been a lot worse. We're seeing leftovers on Wimmy, which is an interesting choice. We're gonna have to switch out. Um, let's bring in Kurum and fake out the Malamar. And I don't even care about getting Encore locked with Ludi. Just to stop this Malamar from doing anything going into this next turn is gonna be pretty important for us we see a tailwind. But then again, we don't want to take any unnecessary damage with Curum Black, do we? Nelly said white. There's a fake out. Mm, tailwind, yep. Yeah. Oh, superpower is the one thing that we have to worry about quite a lot from this Malamar. I mean, hmm. And it's just going to boost and boost and boost. We need to get Tapu Fini in. Here's it. 
Let's just scold and get some damage onto it. Because Superpower is going to come into the Finny here. No doubt about it. Yeah, Encore, Ludi. Mm hmm. Superpower. Yep. Get the boosts. Ah, oh, Wimmy, why do you do this? This is why leftovers are so good. Um, let's his. Let's switch to ho ho, and let's hope we don't see a rock slide. Okay, Wimmy, gonna switch out. Ludicolo coming in. Hmm. If we see a rock slide here, we're done. But at least Wimmy's left the field. Oh, Malamar protecting. Huh. The hair's coming in super handy though there. Hmm. And now it, it disappears from the field. So we'll protect we'll we'll nature's badness the Malamar. And we'll just protect her all. Because we haven't got the Wimmy on the field now, so we're not so worried about the, the Encore coming in. But we might, like, knowing that Finny doesn't really carry Protect, it's kind of a safe target for the, the fake out as well. So my opponent could take advantage of this, but at the same time, we've just got to protect this hot or try and get some damage onto this Malmar the next turn. Scald, and just madness. What's this Malmar doing? Knock off, potentially? Okay. Trick room. Ha! Oh. <laughs> Now we want the Icy Wind, as the Tailwind pitters out. That's kind of nice. Hmm. Now there'll be more indication now that... Okay. I feel like we've got to re readjust again. Let's, let's go for the Icy Wind. And get Ludi back on the field. It's just a revolving door of Pokemon. Because I just don't know what to expect from this team. There's the, and there's another knockoff. Scald as well. Yep, doubling in. But that's all right. Not so okay, but dealable. Oh, you come on, icy wind, Finny. I thought we got past this, Finny. I thought we got past this. Ah. <sighs> Obviously not. Um, right, I mean we can heal pulse a good old Ludi to keep it around a little bit longer. Might not be a bad idea to be honest. Um, and just go for that icy wind once again. Just to kind of screw over the Malmar. But it's actually slower but it targets the... Why didn't I... Why didn't I fake out with Ludi? What did I actually do with Ludi? I, I don't even know what I've clicked. This is all Finny's fault, this. Oh, I Icy Winded. Oh, okay. Hmm. Okay, yeah, I heal pulse Icy Winded. Just so confused, so confused. Um, all right, we will switch into hot oil and we will scald the Malamar, which might be enough now to take it down. We've got to worry about a potential Giga Drain from the opposing Ludicolo, but hopefully it attacks the Finny. Yes, which it does. And hopefully the scald is enough to take down this Malamar. Once the Malamar's out of the question, of the picture. Still not enough, but yes, Ben, come on, Ludi, you're pulling it back for the team. But is that a Lumberry? No, it's a Superberry. Okay, that's still alright. Because we take that, like a champ. Like a champ, we say. Okay, right, the burn. 
I think Brave Bird's gonna be enough to get that Malamar now. I'm pretty, I'm feeling pretty, pretty certain about that. Although we have to take a Scald from the Ludicolo. How many turns of Trick Room we got left? Okay, one. Yeah, we have to Brave Bird the Malamar to get rid of it. Um, we could just Grass Knot the Ludi as well. Let's do this. Yeah, we'll get Scalded into Hot Oil, but it's not the end of the world. I mean, it does so much damage. Critical hit. We're not not getting the rub of the green in this one, are we, really? This has to take down the Malamar. But after the defense boost, you've got to think. Probably doesn't. We needed to double into it. Super power. It's fine. We get we get our Curamin. Although, now the Malmars is uber fast. Which is not what we wanted at all. Um, hmm. Yeah, it's got knockoff, which is not ideal. Let's get Finny in. It's our only hop. An icy wind plus the burn should get it, I think. That's all we can hope for. All we can hope for right now. It's not looking too good. It's icy wind, and let's hope that the Malamar attacks Ho or to protect its beloved pineapple head that it's got partnered next to it. Can we do it? Can we do it? My opponent's really taking their time though, aren't they? I mean, I don't mind. I'm just kind of pointing it out. Because it feels like every turn is like dragging, dragging, dragging. Knock off. Into the hole. Oh, please let this icy wind hit. Finny, you did well. Hopefully, this is enough. Plus, the burn to take down the Malamar. Giga Drain, yeah. That if the Malamar doesn't go down to burn here, we're royally, royally screwed, and we no, we need to double protect. That's the only thing we can hope for now. Double protect, and then <laughs> we do that. Ah, oh, and then the Kyogre comes in, and yeah, we can't really do anything against it. So we go for the protect. We go for the protect. Because, yeah, if, the, if we get it, the Malamar goes down, the Wimmy comes in, it Encore locks us in to protect with whichever thing it would like to. We still have the Z-move on Kyurem, but, I mean, we kind of need the electric Z-move rather than anything else. I mean, we get it. We get it. So that that's, that's a huge plus for us. Knock off. Ice beam. Huh. At least we can say we took down the Malamar. And now, enter the Wimmy. I wonder if an Icinium Z is enough to get the Ludi. It potentially could be. If you're going to lock anything in, it's got to be that, that Cure and White. Now, do we recover? No, we brave bit, we get rid of the Whimsicott. And we go for the, the Icinium Z, the Sub-Zero Slammer into Ludi. Because we'll outspeed it now. Oh, even better. <coughs> I can't believe it, I'm nearly choking. Okay, I don't know why you protect Wimmy there when you've got an, a, a, a perfect chance to lock in either target to protect. But you might, I don't know, you, you, yeah. I don't know, but we're going to get this this Ludi. This should be enough. At least we get the Z-move off this episode as well, which is ideal. Easy peasy. Okay. Now, Brave Bird. Yeah. 
could have protect uh, recovered there but the thing is recovering there is a bit dicey as well because we get locked in to recover and if Kyogre comes out onto the field it's still no good I mean we can still oh it's so of course it's Sogaleo what am I worrying about hmm I know what I'm worried about is we've got to recover with hot or we needed to recover there if we are a bit smarter about things and hopefully we can get a nice beam off into the women if we lose hot all here we're screwed okay get the brave bird that makes a lot of sense we should have protected there oh we're actually faster than the sogaleo okay can hot or see out these encore turns no Phytinium Z the super power okay a downfall was predicting and forgetting that the Sogaleo was in the back but that is because everything else took so long I just lost concept of what was in the back so in my defense that was there but I should have definitely protected with the hole on this last turn taking down the Wimmy Kind of would have expected the Sogaleo to be faster than a, a Cure in Black because we've got no speed investment here. But we do prop the berry, so there is still hope. There is still a lot of hope here. Sunsteel Strike, how many turns of Encore are we, are we gonna have to deal with? Oh, we can only break Bird. We can only break Bird. Can we still do it? Can we do this? Come on. If we can do this, this makes everything all alright, doesn't it? It's a long episode today as well. Come on. So Galeo, just protect one turn for no reason. Flare Blitz. So you've got Flare Blitz Superpower. Probably got Sunsteel Strike. You're taking recoil while I'm taking recoil. Alright, 109. If probably, well, we may get away. Oh, I don't think we're going to get away with this. Oh, maybe. The Encore doesn't end. We need the Encore to end. <laughs> oh, it's so painful. Okay, so we go down to 8, and like 70. 76 and then 60 we might if the encore ends this next turn we can still do this for sure and we can still do it we can still do it. i still believe so it's just right it depends how much this does though this will do more than a flare blitz oh and there's no recoil here Oh man, yeah. Nah, we're not gonna we're not gonna be able to do it now. We need another berry. Or a crit. The biggest crit in the world. Nah. And the Uncle ends. And so do our hopes. And dreams. Um let's recover in case for some reason the Sogaleo protects. But nah, it's not never gonna never in a million years. But very good game to my opponent. Um, the Whimsicott causes loads of problems. We had issues in our brain just remembering that there was no Kyogre there. Just scared of it. But Napo, very good game. And guys, I hope you enjoyed it at home. That is a homage to Cameron. I'm sorry we didn't get the wins for you today, my friend. But it's been really fun featuring the team. We got to see the Z move. And this is the last fun week on the channel as well. Before we go though, I will just say, don't miss tomorrow's episode because out of all the janky teams that we've had the last couple of weeks, tomorrow's one is extra special and a big shout out to our good friend Johnny Hacks. So, this is tomorrow's episode. It's going to be the last one of the Moon series, so I'm hoping to make it an absolutely amazing one. I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you so much for tuning in again and, uh, well, hopefully see you for the last one in the moon series tomorrow but until then take care of yourselves have a great evening morning afternoon night whatever time of day it is and i'll see you then so until then 
Okay, and bye-bye.